Do this. Do this. Good. Fish. Now that's cookie. Fish. Good job. The therapist from Pinecones, they make her work, and that's really, yes. that's really what, we, what we hope for is that they make her work because our ultimate goal is to get her to where she can communicate with us. Knowing was a big deal because we could treat more effectively, but um, also on the other hand, the, the diagnosis of Dravet is pretty uh, detrimental. It's catastrophic. There's not a lot of um, treatment options. Um, you know, she's been diagnosed with autism at 18 months and sensory processing disorder. So we knew it was going to be a long road, but we are very grateful that we caught it and knew what it was when we did, or it could have been a lot worse. You do. Try again. You know, in terms of what cannabis oil could potentially do for her, it could potentially um, give the same or better results as the medication she's taking now without all the side effects. Um, so it would allow her brain to develop and grow and potentially, you know, learn to talk or walk better, uh, be able to have uh, a higher level of intellectual ability as she gets older. Uh, and that's really what we're after with, um, you know, the CBD oil. We've almost come, you know, to the reality that she's gonna have seizures every day. And it doesn't matter if we move to Colorado or if we stay here, um, you know, and the, the reason that we pushed so hard for the legislation last session is because uh, it gives her a glimmer of hope of having a better quality of life. And we don't, our expectation is not that she's going to be cured from her disorder. Uh, that's unrealistic. Um, we don't ex we don't think it's a silver bullet. And it's not going to work for everybody. Uh, but if it does work for for some. for some, you know, and it gives them better quality of life, even if it doesn't work for Carly, then I, I think we've we've done the right thing.